Michigan Vừa mới là cái tiếng đồng của Michigan Hoa kỳ Hoa kỳ Hoa kỳ Electric. Electric has been dumped with silk power and 
Tesla fuel solar now and take advantage of fuel tax credits. Electricity costs are soaring. Now is the time to reduce or eliminate your electric bill forever. Call today and find out how you can build solar for zero down and no out-of-pocket costs. If you're interested in having your utility company pay you, call Oath Electric today for a free energy assessment. Locally owned and operated, Oath Electric is delivering energy in every way. Call today or visit oathelectric.com. John D. Dingle VA Medical Center in Detroit. This is a special Veterans Day celebration broadcast on News Talk 760 WJR. Sponsored by General Motors. With Steve Borton, Lois Brown, and Sean Belegian. Now honoring the men and women of our military past and present. Here's Steve. Thank you, sir. It is indeed been an honor to bring this broadcast to you here on Veterans Day 2019 at the beautiful John D. Dingle VA Medical Center. Steve Courtney along with Sean Belisian, Lomas Brown, high atop the medical center uh, spending time uh, with some of our esteemed vets. Meanwhile, as promised, we are happy to be joined by Congresswoman Debbie Dingle. She represents Michigan's 12th Congressional District and of course this fine facility named after her late great husband, John D. Congressman, how are you? It's good to talk to you. I try to be nice about and get down there to see all of you when this is the veterans again, but the roads are terrible. The racing in here is what I believe. Nobody is, Congressman, and I think you want to probably make the right decision. Because of the flashbulbs. And we 
we, you know, they don't talk about their service either. I mean, I actually think that many of the veterans who are the younger ones we don't talk about what they see. We don't know how much they do for us or how much we do for granted and that they did when they fought for the street. I get very emotional about this. Well, Congresswoman, uh, as you know, I had uh, the distinct pleasure of spending time with your late great husband uh, and the congressman uh, is missed. We are involved at times politically. Uh, and one thing about John Dinkins that I remember, he could have been a tremendous reason for these troubled times. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, he the author of so many humorous tweets. And I miss him. <laughs> Your FICO credit score and checking your credit cards won't prove 
just getting started, trying to grow, uh, grow awareness for the foundation and continue to uh, raise money the best we can. Rich, it's, it's amazing because when we talked to Frank, we talked about this when he when he came went off the air. Uh, it was almost like hearing the coach talk. He, he was, you know, he was giving you the pep talk and and get you fired up and, and putting it down in the simplest terms. It's pretty hard not to get on board with somebody who's as passionate and emphatic as he is. Yeah, Sean, I think it's life changing, and I don't I don't use that lightly. Uh, I've been able, I've been honored to be uh, placed on the board of the Silver Foundation. Uh, Frank uh, appointed me to the board, and we, go, we do they do great work. And you know, it's life changing, obviously, for the uh, the homes that they give to these veterans. They give them the veterans their independence back. You know, they're not looking for pity. You know, we say thank you for the service. They say proud to serve. And when able to uh, Frank hands over the keys to that smart home, they go in there. It just, you know, gives them new life, gives their independence back. And it's life changing for the people involved uh, through fundraising or through volunteering. And when you get involved with the uh, Pillar Foundation, you become a part of Frank's family. He's just an just a amazing man. And as we discussed uh, with Steve, Rich, and, and, and we'll bring it up again because the number bears repeating, uh, GM certainly committed to helping those who have given so much for their country. General Motors current and ret the retired workforce includes 60,000 veterans. That's pretty powerful stuff there, Rich. Yeah, it is, and uh, we're very proud to uh, uh, be able to uh, work side by side with all those veterans. And, you know, we heard Steve mention earlier, um, you know, hired veterans always show up on time, uh, never complain, they get the, they get the job done. And uh, just very proud of that, you know, also proud that we offer the best military discount uh, of any manufacturer out there for veterans. And then the third thing they need is a home, as you heard earlier. So that's what we're working with uh, Frank and his foundation to uh, build these smart homes for these catastrophically injured veterans. You know, Frank really put it down in, in simplest terms. As again, we talked to Rich Latek, the GMC marketing director. Uh, Eleven dollars a month for a year. It, it, it really is a pittance to take care of these people and get people to do that in mass. But from your vantage point, what can others do to support the efforts of the Silver Foundation? Sure, I'd you know encourage everyone to go to uh, tunneltotowers.org. And, uh, you know, if you can't give $11 a month, uh, if you can make a, a, another donation, that'd be great. But if you can't, see how you can volunteer and see, just help us grow awareness uh, for this cause. You know, we have a lot of uh, grassroots efforts um, around uh, around town, not here in Detroit, but all over the U.S. with uh, stair climbs or just like, races that, uh, you know, raise money. Uh, it raises, it all adds up. It all helps out, help us build these these smart homes. You know, smart homes, it, it costs a minimum of half a million dollars to build with all the technology technology that's involved. So every um, every dollar helps, every volunteer helps. And Rich, nobody knows more than you as a board member of the Silver Silver Tunnel Tower Foundation. Uh, there is no shortage of need with these smart homes and helping the men and women who come back uh, with physical needs. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I've had an opportunity to go to a couple of these home dedications and you can just see the, uh, uh, just the looks on the family's faces, the spouse's face, their children, uh, the veteran themselves. Uh, it's it's life-changing, it's life-changing for them. And uh, again, we're just getting started. We, you know, we need to build 100 a year. And so we're going to have a board meeting on Thursday in New York uh, with Frank. And it's not about, uh, it's not about, you know, patting everybody on the back what we've done. About what we need to do and if we need to continue to grow awareness and uh, raise money to build these smart homes. It's funny that you mentioned that because one of the things that I wanted to bring up is about the job that GM is doing. Um, and to me it isn't patting one on the back, it's acknowledging you for doing something. Uh, GM's current and retired workforce includes 60,000 veterans. I think there's something to be said uh, about that and you deserve a little pat on the back for that. Well, you know, we've been involved, I appreciate that, we've been involved with the military for over 100 years, and uh, so, you know, just uh, joining the uh, Stephen Siller Tunnel of the Towers Foundation is a, um, just an, another step for us to continue to uh, support the military the best we can. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, Rich, in closing, uh, congratulations, $4 million raised so far this year, with $2.7 million of that coming from the auction of the latest production, 2019 Corvette CR1. That was the best check I ever cut. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Rich. <laughs> I appreciate that. If you can cut another one, that'd be great. So, uh, that, we, you know, that was, uh, that was uh, really just a great day for us when... Uh, 
and that car was auctioned off for $2.7 million. Again, it all went to the uh, Stephen Siller Dollar Towers Foundation. And Rich, uh, like we discussed with Steve, President of U.S. Sales Service and Marketing for GM North America earlier in this program, uh, after that board day break, uh, I have to say that my folks at GM back to doing what they do best. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's you know, very exciting times for us, and I'm glad that uh, we're all back to work. All right, Rich, appreciate your time. Thank you very much for all you do. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Happy Veterans Day. Okay. Happy Veterans Day, indeed. Uh, Rich Latek, uh, U.S. Marketing Director for GMC. Uh, and you know what, my golly, it should be pointed out. Uh, and with the big tree, you are in the heart of the motor scene. Uh, they really do such a fine job with the community uh, because they're not doing what they do and, and uh, making a few dollars. Uh, GM has been here. Uh, you name a charitable situation, and the chances are better than that that GM is on it. Yeah, and, and Steve, that's the beautiful thing. You, you know, listen, I've had the opportunity to, to move to other places and they move to other places. There's, uh, there is a, just a wonderful heart and, and, and the idea of taking care of people in this area, if that sounds strange, okay, then call me up. But, but really, I think that's the beauty of this area, is you know, caring for one another. Well, and that is on the line on this day 2019, as we can tell from the General Digital VA Medical Center. Uh, look, uh, we have heard firsthand uh, that there is no shortage of veterans in need, and as a nation, uh, we owe it to them. And kudos to Congresswoman Debbie Jones, who said right here not that long ago that we are not doing enough as a nation for our men and women who are returning. And that has to change uh, because, you know, we applaud what they do. When we go to the Lions game on Sunday, uh, we are going to see uh, the uh, hometown hero, Amy Kempin, and we're going to applaud. we got to make sure that everything is okay with it. Absolutely. And Steve, you know what? I, I, that's why I applaud Debbie for, for being in that position and, and saying that. Because, listen, Steve, I think we all agree mistakes are made for the returning veterans coming to Vietnam. And I, I hope that they can... You know, right in their heart to forgive people that, that was maybe wrong. didn't treat them the way they should have been treated. We all agree that that was wrong. And, and okay, well, it's one thing to apologize, and it's another thing. Let's really make amends. Let's help people out the best we can. And I know we can do a better job. I know we all can do a better job. All right, Steve. Show sure. Lois Brown here at the John D. Miller VA Medical Center. Still a little bit of time to go as we butt in on this edition of the Rush Limbaugh show. Uh, we've still got plenty to get to, by golly, we will get there that. Right now, we are going to update you on this Veterans Day commute. It has been a share of challenges. Uh, we find out together what's going on. This report is sponsored by Menard. What's your style? Like it with Patriot Lighting. Menard's lighting show is Patriot Lighting. is everything you need for a casual, rustic, classic, or modern look. Whatever fits your style, find your style with Patriot Lighting. Available at Menard's. We have a new problem with 996. Found wrap.